Ragib Shaw was born in Calcutta in 1974 and grew up in Kashmir. He moved to England in 1988 to study at the St. Martin School of Art. He was first introduced to the art world with his painting Garden of Earthly Delight 3. This made him famous in the international art world at the age of 33. Now on a Manchester art gallery, showing case different paintings and work on paper from three series of his work, Absence of God, Paradise Lost, and Of Beast and Super Beast, showing more than 26 unseen paintings from his work. Shaw's paintings show a glorious and opulent style which suggests a fantasy world full of color and details. At the age of nine, he was inspired by great painters such as Auburn and Bosch. His opulent painting features precious stone, meticulous jewelry. He uses the theme like fauna, flora, that is found in all his paintings. Uh, well, we approached the artist originally and also worked very closely with some of his galleries who represent him. Um, he's represented by uh, a number of galleries internationally. So we worked very closely with them, particularly White Cube in London. Um, the artist studio, obviously, to help us with the selection of work. Um, and Rakib had a really strong input into the selection of works. He wanted to kind of um, show a range of his work through you know, over a number of years, really, to show how his practice has developed over those years. It's a, it's a combination of, of um, us and the artist and, uh, and the galleries involved, really, in the, um, organising the selection. It was a real team effort, actually, uh, making the selection of works. His style is inspired by the Middle East and his native Kashmir textile which is influenced by Auburn and Bosch. Beneath his beautiful and sparkling surface, his painting collection hides a very dark and violent image that highlights shown personal history with Asian myth and religion tale from Eastern and Western traditions. As part of a college uh, project, uh, we're just here um, the ideas to get ideas for jewellery. Uh, designs for the future and um, to see if we can make our own designs and get influence from everybody around the world, all the different designers um, and what sort of styles they bring themselves you know, to the design world. His work, because he's so different, he's, like, he's adapted everything, even from watching the video, seeing how he starts his blank canvases to how he layers his work and how he creates his style in with fabrics and paint, you know, a bit of a mixture, and just how how he how he sees it. It's just so different, you know, from everybody else I've seen so far. You know. Rene Bissonhon reporting for Key News at Manchester Art Gallery.